Hey guys, it's Donald Wombat here, and today I've got another Warframe video to help you guys get better at the game. In the video today, we're going to be looking at speed running. Now, basically, if you are unfamiliar with what speed running is, and more particularly speed running in Warframe, then I will try to explain that a little bit at the start of this video. If you do enjoy this video and it helps you out, then remember to hit that like button. Okay, so speed running in Warframe comes in handy a lot. When you are farming for various equipment or resources or anything really, it makes sense to run and finish the level as quickly as possible, and even sometimes when you were just playing. But there are so many players in the game that I play with that are terrible at it, and even some very, very experienced players. So firstly, let's look at the game modes which you can actually speedrun. And they are rescue missions, spy missions, assassination missions, capture missions, deception missions, and sort of mobile defense missions. All of the other ones have a time factor and you can't really speed that up. In all of these different mission types, there is basically only one thing that I need to get out there and tell people, and that is that you don't have to kill every single enemy that spawns into the mission. Just run to the objective. Unless you have a level zero Warframe, you'll pretty much be able to run past any enemies, take a little bit of damage, but keep on trucking and just go straight to your objective. In the case of a capture mission, you only have to kill the two targets which are your objective. All of the other enemies are not important. Killing them is only going to slow you down and take more time to finish the, uh, the mission. And it's the same with rescue missions. It's the same with spy missions. Just run to where the data points are. Assassination missions. You just run straight to where the boss is. It's, uh, it's a pretty simple, pretty simple concept. You don't always have to kill all of the enemies. And, I mean, in a lot of cases, it's really unnecessary and can just make it a lot more dangerous and difficult for you to complete the mission. By sprinting, jumping, coptering, and using other movement tactics, you will be able to run straight past even some of the tougher enemies and straight to your objective, greatly reducing the time it will take to complete each of these missions. The video in the background, I'm fairly sure that I don't kill any enemies, and I have quite a weak Warframe on as well. Now, some people might say that you know, oh, if you kill enemies, you're going to get experience. That experience is going to help you level up and that sort of thing. But all of these missions that I've mentioned before that are really good for speed running, there's not really that many enemies that you come up to, come up against, and they're not that high level. So the experience that you're going to actually get out of that that level to go towards uh, leveling up your warframes and and weapons and all that sort of stuff is going to be absolutely minuscule compared to if you were playing an Oricon defense or maybe a survival or just a normal defense mission. So it really uh, it really doesn't matter that you're not killing those enemies. I've said it a few times before, but you don't always have to kill every enemy. If you enjoyed this video, then remember to hit that like button. Subscribe for more content from me. I've been Wombat, and I'll see you guys later.